Let's go with uh, Peyton. Thanks for joining us. We're going to go with uh, Jared Lloyd and then Jake Roper with the questions. Good. Hey, Peyton, wanted to ask about uh, leadership because uh, what does that mean? What, what's it mean for the captains to be named and, and uh, what's, what's that like for the team to get to that point? Yeah, um, honestly, personally for me, I feel honored to be named a captain on such an amazing football team. You know, there's a lot of guys on this football team that could be a captain. And the fact that I got it is, you know, I feel honored to be there and I'm ready to step up and be a leader and, and lead the way for my guys. How much weight does that carry? Because like you said, there's a lot of great leaders. So how much weight do you feel as far as pressure wise to, to be a leader and as part of this group? Yeah, I mean, I feel no pressure. You know, we got a, a great group of guys, a lot of a lot of guys that can really, yeah, like I said, step up and be leaders. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll be the one to step up in, in hard times and kind of lead the way. But I think as as I do that, you know, a lot more guys will come along and, it, and it'll be simple. So. Uh, Jake Roper, question? Yeah, Peyton, um, we were just asking uh, Malik more about the defensive chemistry, uh, even just team chemistry as a whole. How do you feel that it's going, you know, with your position, with the whole defense and with the whole team, um, especially as a leader? Yeah, I think we've come a long way. As you know, we lost quite a few guys last year from our defense. Um, not so much linebacker room. We lost Isaiah. So, I mean, our, our linebacking group is is really close. We've been together for a minute. And so that's good. And as as us being close, we kind of can reach out to the other position groups and kind of bring everyone along. So I think we've come a long way. I think our chemistry is really good. And I'm excited to go out and play with all of them Saturday. All right. Let's go uh, Mitch, then Jake, and Sean. Yeah, Peyton, um, how would you describe how training camp went for you? You're now a guy that's in the spotlight, all these preseason watch lists, accolades. How would the how is camp for you and where where have you improved in your game? Camp went really well, you know, just just trying to stay healthy and get get better every single day. You know, I don't I don't really look ahead. I look uh, just I live in the present, focus on what I can get better that day and then and then uh, go from there, take it day by day. And so I think I, I've grown a lot, uh, you know, being here, but just working on the little things that I can just just touch up. After the, uh, I think it was after NIL, after July 1st, I saw you were um, posted some social media stuff about uh, P90X, I believe that's with, uh, or not P90X, I can't remember the-, the X, XPT. X, yeah. X, XPT, I, my apologies. Um, yeah, no worries. With, with Brady Papinga, did you have- do you have a connection with Brady? Do you, uh, cause he's a well-known name in, in this program. Uh, ha have you had a formed a relationship with Brady? Yeah, we have over, over the last couple of months with this NIL, he's kind of looking out for me, you know, he, he's kind of given me an opportunity to, 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 to endorse something, you know, but also at the same time, he's looking out for me to get better, you know, to improve my game as a football player. So we've grown a lot over the last couple of months. We have a good relationship and, and he's always, you know, looking out to help me improve my game in any way possible. Thanks Peyton. Thank you. Peyton, you've got a really cool story. You're the latest in a line of walk-ons to have come to BYU had success. We saw Dax Mill make the Washington football team roster today. Okay. Do you feel like you being named a team captain kind of validates your journey to this point? Yeah, I mean, that's really, it's, a, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling to kind of, to how I did it, you know, to come as a walk-on and, and to be named a captain is such an honor. And I feel so grateful for that opportunity because, you know, I've come a long way. It's been rough, but it's been a journey and I wouldn't trade it for anything. I also wanted to ask about your, you seem to work well with Keenan Peely. What makes your guys' tandem work so well together? Yeah, Keenan, you know, he's 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 like one of my brothers. We get along really well, but at the same time, you know, we're always trying to make each other better. You know, we're not going to – we'll go against each other in drills, and we're always pushing each other to be better. And so I think that's really how we, we get along so well and work so well together. Sean Walker yeah. and then uh, Alex. Yeah, uh, Payne, I'm – you probably overheard us a little bit with, with Malik there, uh, maybe, or, or maybe not. I'm kind of working in an angle though, but what, what kind of a challenge does preparing for a, a platoon system or a two quarterback system that Arizona is allegedly planning on throwing at you guys Saturday? What kind of a challenge is that for, um, as you guys kind of go throughout the week, trying to figure out two quarterbacks instead of just one? 
yeah, it's tough. You know, there's there's a lot of unknowns, really. You know, we don't have a, a ton of film on them. You know, they got a new coaching staff. So there's a lot of unknowns. So I'm not too worried about really what they're going to come out and do. I'm, I'm more focused on what we can do and what we can control and get better as a defense and go out there and do our thing. And then as, as they come out and do whatever they do, we can make adjustments and change. You mentioned um, Isaiah Isaiah Kafusi from last season and that how he left and now he's in the NFL. And he was obviously one of the leaders for the defense last year. Um, what did his example mean to you both as a player and as a teammate? Yeah, Isaiah, amazing guy, amazing leader, amazing football player. And so really to have him, to play with him and see how he really handled himself on and off the field, it gives me a lot to learn. He gave me a lot to learn. I learned a lot from him and to be able to kind of walk in his footsteps and do as he did, I think it'll, it'll be amazing. Jake, did, did you have another question? Yeah, just one real quick one here. How cool was it, Peyton, to see Kalani Satake, your head coach, get into contract extension? Awesome. Kalani, amazing guy, amazing coach. He deserves every bit of it. I'm super excited for him and his family. Okay. Anybody else have any other questions for Peyton? Thanks for joining us today. We'll let you go. Sounds good. Thank you, guys. I think that's it for today. I'm just verifying really quick. Again, Kalani's on. Uh... Yeah, that's it. Okay. Kalani's show is starting right now. If you want to jump over there and catch any comments that he might have. Thanks, Duff. Thanks, Duff. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks. Good to see everyone. Thanks, Duff. Have a Next good night. Time, hopefully, see it's you. on the golf course. Congratulations, Jared. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. That's way cool. <laughs> Just lucky, but sometimes that's all that you need. <laughs>